So if you're new to the call, welcome. I'm David Zajcik. I'm the NCL Commissioner, and we also have Emily on the call. Hello, Emily. Hi, everybody. Welcome. She's our, she's our Director of Development and Partnerships with Cyber Skyline, and we also have Ashley, who's the Director of Operations. Hello, Ashley. Hi, everyone. All right, so let's go ahead and um, go over the agenda. So this is what we got for you today. We're going to talk about the fall season dates and also now that we're in it, late registration. Uh, I'll talk about CrowdStrike mentoring program, the partner pitch day, which is coming very soon. Announce our new board member, which we're very excited about. We'll introduce Doc. I haven't seen if he's on the call yet, but we'll find out. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I have my class um, prepare and use the practice game. And then at the end, we'll have some open Q&A just to see if there's any general questions about anything about NCL or anything we went over. And then the second half of the call is we're going to, again, do our break up, breakout rooms and we're going to have our discuss, discussion topic. And this time, it's going to be like a choose your own adventure. So we're going to see if somebody has a special topic they want to talk about and we're going to create a room for them. And then we'll see if any other else, other coaches have other things they want to talk about and create rooms for them. And then we'll have you join those rooms depending upon the topic. So I'm announcing that now because I want you to be thinking about a topic that you may want to lead the discussion on um, so that we'll have a few breakout rooms for people to choose from. So we wanted to, what we usually do is we bring the topic to you. So this time we kind of wanted to keep it a little more open and see what topics people might want to spend some time talking about. All right, so that's the overview. Let's jump right in to our competition dates. And Emily, are you going to take this one? Sure. Um, so we are about to jump into the practice game. Um, so actually, it was yesterday. It stays the 15th. Hope everyone had a good Indigenous Peoples Day yesterday. Um, so the practice game is going to be going on from October 14th to the 20th. And then the individual game will be October 25th to 27th. Team game will be November 8th to the 10th. And then the gym is going to be closing on December 13th. So um, make sure you're marking your calendars for the important games, but also that you will have access for uh, the gymnasium all the way until December 13th before winter break begins. Today is the last day for late registration. Uh, late registration cost is $45. If you have not signed up your students yet, um, today is the day to do so. So make sure you go ahead and do that before the, um, I believe it's 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure that you go ahead and get this taken care of today. Um, you can just go to the NCL website and it will take you directly on where you can go to register. Or you certainly can go to cyberskyline.com forward slash events forward slash NCL. And that will allow you to register your students. Once again, October 15th today is the last day for late registrations. And we're very close to our 10,000. So we are we doing it. anything for like the 10,000th player to register? Some we'll celebration. Consider. We'll consider. <laughs> okay. so if you guys get us to 10,000, uh, we'll consider something fun. So there you go. I think we're about 300 shy as of this morning. So make miracles mm. happen, you guys. And if you Let's do it, 10,000, we'll do something fun. <laughs> Alrighty, so a couple of community items. Um, we do have the NCL and CrowdStrike mentorship program that's going to be underway in about a week or so. Um, and we're looking for a backup mentee list. So if you had students who um, have not applied yet and they would be interested in participating, please go ahead and share um, the mentee application link. We'll pop it into the chat. Also, that QR code will take them there. Um, once again, this is the backup mentee list. We had a great number of, of applications um, that we were able to connect them with mentors for the cohort. But life is life. You never know if we may need some backup. So we definitely encourage students to um, apply. You never know um, if they might be able to kind of slide in there and get one of those spots. Really quick recap, um, the NCL and CrowdStrike have partnered together. This is going to be the fourth cohort that we've had um, to provide career mentorship to HBCU, MSI, uh, and junior college students. It's going to be uh, four one-to-one -one mentorship sessions. They're scheduled from October to February. Once again, since this is the backup list, more, um, more than likely your students would be popping in kind of uh, mid-cohort. 
Um, but the qualified applicants will receive a $250 scholarship. Um, they'll be able to connect with direct CrowdStrike employees. And um, they also will be given opportunities to apply for CrowdStrike internships or even entry-level roles. And it's a great resume-worthy uh, listing as a CrowdStrike mentee. Um, so the opportunity is once again a first come first serve basis as a backup mentee. You must be participating, or the student must be participating in the NCL Fall 2024 competition season. That they are from an HBCU, MSI, or a junior college, and they must be a sophomore, junior, or senior. So if you have any questions about that, let us know in the chat. Um, and we're excited to get that cohort underway. And yep. Yeah. So let us know if you have any questions about um, the CrowdStrike Mentorship Program. And in the open Q&A, we'll go ahead and make sure we answer those questions. The um, other I'm sorry, I just oh. wanted to add one thing. Um, please have your students apply because our first session is actually next week. And we have already gone back into the backup mentee list. And we've had some new mentees join us as of today uh, due to limitations of other mentees who were selected and were no longer able to participate in the program. So um, it does happen and we do uh, switch out mentees as needed throughout the entire cohort. So please have your students sign up. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. It's never too late and you never know what opportunities might come your way. So thanks, Ashley. Um, another thing to keep in mind coming up soon is Partner Pitch Day. Um, that's going to be next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, we're going to have um, some of our partner organiza organizations present about an eight minutes of presentation to share about their um, organization, mission, culture, programs, community events. It's open to the entire NCL community. We absolutely encourage your students to join and also for you all to join. You never know where you may fit with different organizations that we partner with. Um, it's an easy and convenient way for students to learn about the partner organizations. Um, they have wonderful um, support for cyber cybersecurity community members, um, and it really has opened great doors uh, for connections, ways for them to give back to the community, and lasting friendships. Um, so we will be sending out um, email about um, the registration link for anyone to register for Partner Pitch Day. We'll also have it on social media. So be on the lookout for those coming out in the next couple days. Um, once again, this is open to everybody. It will be next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and we will be recording this session as well. So if you're not able to make it live, not a problem. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, let us know. Do you wanna mention a couple of our partners? Sure, that's actually a great idea. Um, so we have Lisas, Black Girls Hack, Cyber Jitsu, and Cyber.org that are gonna be joining us. Um, so that is the list right now. We may have one kind of sneak in last minute, um, but those are organizations that we have worked with um, to uh, promote um, the National Cyber League, as well as do in-partner CTFs on site. Um, so we're really excited to have them. I work very closely with um, their members and their um, organizations, and everyone's really excited to share a little bit more about the NCL. Very good. Thank you so much, Emily. Definitely. And I will bring it back to you, David. Okay, sounds good. All right, so I am super excited to announce our brand new NCL Inc. board member, Doc St. Clair. Um, he's been very involved in uh, these coaches' calls. Um, he's had several teams and players for many years now. Um, participate in the NCL. Uh, a little bit about him. He is the Associate Professor of Cyber Defense at College of Coastal Georgia. And I said I wasn't sure if Doc is on the call or not. Did anyone look? <laughs> Doc? I am. I'm here. Hey, there you are. Okay. So um, any, any words that you want to give to us? Uh, go ahead. Um, I'll put you, put you on the spot. You're going to put me in a spot. I'm just going to stay <laughs> quiet and give okay. me 90 days, and then I'll be active. Okay, the there you go. <laughs> I think that's fair. You, you know, you got to get, get, get a little understanding of what's involved in this whole board member thing. So, yeah, Doc, Doc just uh, joined us. He has actually – we haven't even had a meeting yet with him. So um, this is brand new news. And, uh, again, like I said, we're extremely excited to have him on the board. Thank you for um, – Thanks for joining, Doc, and uh, thanks for giving you know your time to the to the NCL because I do you know I, I'm commissioner, so I you know can say that I, I believe that it's a very worthwhile cause. I definitely get 
a lot out of it. And I hope you will too. I will. So thanks again. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. All right. Next is, um, so I wanted to spend just a couple minutes uh, talking about the practice game. The practice game has just been around for a short time. A um, couple of years, I think it's been now. And there's kind of different ways that you can use it. Uh, the idea behind it is really just to give uh, our players a little bit, you know, of a chance to try out the game without the gym. So, right, the gym has the challenges that help that have the walkthroughs of how to solve each of those challenges, which is great, which helps them, you know, prepare. But so what we're doing was kind of taking the training wheels off a little bit. So we don't have those walkthroughs, but it's still a time that it's still low pressure because they're, you know, we're not putting them on a leaderboard. And the other part about the practice game is that they can work together. So what I do for my class is I actually put my students into groups and um, I have two right now, currently I have two different um, cybersecurity classes that I'm teaching. I've kind of have like an intro class and I have a more advanced class. So what I do is I set up as for my groups, I have my more advanced class have, be a group leader. So I have one person from the advanced class be a group leader. And then I have my intro class sign up for each of those groups. Um, and I think that works pretty well because those people who are brand new to NCL have someone to ask, you know, to, you know, how to solve some of these challenges and um, more importantly, how to go about solving the challenges. So what, what's the first step you take? Where do you go? What should you do? Um, and again, that's all designed to get people more comfortable once they're on their own in the individual game. The other thing that I do besides putting them in groups is I actually have each group write up a solution to how they solve that particular uh, challenge. So one thing that I do want to mention is that those solutions shouldn't be public. So make sure that those are all internal facing so only your students can see those uh, write-ups. But what I want to do is I want to make sure if a group is getting stuck on a particular challenge, they have the opportunity to solve that challenge by looking to see how another group solved that challenge. So again, the practice game, just as it sounds, it's for practice. And I want students to learn from each other within groups and then also to learn from each other across groups. So I think this, uh, this, this is a great way for students to be prepared. And um, that's one thing that I've noticed uh, and I've gotten comments from students is that before I was doing this, students didn't feel as prepared for the individual game. And, you know, that caused some stress and anxiety for them to play the game. But once they did this, those complaints pretty much went away because students now have not only the gym with the walkthroughs, but also the practice game with their peers. And so they do feel very prepared to start the individual game. And I think that's important. We wanna make sure that our, um, that our students are prepared and feel prepared for the individual game. So that's just my little talk on how I use the practice game. Um, that might be a topic of discussion that we do when we do our breakout rooms, but I just wanted to put that out there right now. Um, yeah. So a couple of questions came up. Um, there's no issues if they submit questions at the same time um, because this is the practice game. So we're not auditing um, for cheating in the practice game. Uh, again, the reason for that is because we do encourage students to work together. The only thing that we do audit and we want to make sure you as coaches are checking for is that solutions and walkthroughs aren't being posted externally. So you can post them internally within your class, but please don't have students share those externally. Okay, were there any other questions that came up? Because this is now a perfect time for more questions, uh, because we are just opening it up now for a few minutes of uh, open Q&A. So anything that I talked about or anything else that uh, you have questions about, about the NCL, now is a perfect time to ask those questions. I do have a question. Can you, can you hear me, David? Yeah, I can hear you. 
Okay, is there an updated kind of like ethical rules or is it still the same from last time? Oh, good question. So, um, you know, I probably should have one of the engineers address that, but I don't know if they're on the call. Um, but we, we have updated the rules a bit because we um, now are allowing students to use um, generative AI uh, for some, you know, to be able to help them lead them in the right direction of answers. So before we had that as a no-go. So I know that is one main thing that changed. Um, Ashley or Emily, do you have anything else to add of what the new rules of conduct look like? That's the only new rule that I'm aware of is the AI one, and I will post it in the chat for everybody. Uh, thank you. So yeah, thanks for asking that. That is important um, because that is a new change to the rules. Uh, another question came up as will there be Discord discussions after the practice closes? Um, yes, so Discord is open. Um, the discussion itself is not typically like we do after the individual game or the team game. So I think that's what you're asking because after the team game and the individual game, we have um, particular channels open for each question. Um, we don't typically do that for the practice game, but um, that's, you know, that's totally fine. Um, Discord obviously will be open for people to ask questions of each other, uh, but we don't formally do that um, as like we do after the practice game. Yeah, and after the individual game and uh, team game. All right, uh, and Ashley just posted the new AI policy. So if you want, take a look at that. Um, the highlight is that players are allowed to use artificial intelligence to assist them. Um, but again, we want them to use that um, not as a crutch. We want them, we don't want copy and paste answers. We want them to use it as a way, just kind of like when you Google something to help you get to the right solution, but not just solve the problem for you. All right, any other questions? We are open, open for business, for questions. I guess we gave you all the answers. Oh, go ahead, sure. yes. Hey, David, My hey. Name, I'm, hi, glad to meet you. I'm Mike Rouse, I'm a new instructor at Whatcom Community College. Hey, welcome. Uh, new, new to this whole thing. We just got the kids, our students uh, signed up um, about a week ago, uh, started the practice as, as you know, but I'm having a hard time as a coach seeing where, what, you know, where my students are, what they're doing, what their activity is. Um, oh, okay. So it's just like that type of challenges at this point. <laughs> yeah, so there is, uh, once you log in, I'm not sure if you've done that, but once you log into um, the Cyber Skyline platform and go to uh, the coach's dashboard, right. there you'll be able to see a listing of all your players. Um, and did you, did they have a link when they signed up to associate um, them with you or did you give them yeah. codes? No, I gave them codes and then they, okay. and then throughout that process, they, they, you know, gave me access. Yeah, good. So now um, once you see a list, um, you can go into the practice game and you should be able to see um, first uh, a listing of your students and kind of a, a you can sort by um, score and then you can click on each student and you can see exactly what they solved. So it'll show you um, their score and the particular challenges that they've solved. Yeah. Okay, let me work on that. Yeah, and so that's just right in um, Cyber Skyline. When you go into NCL, um, I think it's on the right. left-hand side. You should be able to see a link that talks about um, court, Coach's yeah. Corner. And then in there, you can click on select each of, well, right now it's the practice game or the gym. So you can select the practice game. And within that, you'll be able to see your, a listing of your students, their scores, and then you can click on them and see more about exactly what they solved. Right. So, yeah. And we're happy to, maybe even after um, the call, if you're not finding it, we can do a little walkthrough with you. Yeah, that'd be great because I'm not seeing okay. that. Yeah. yeah, sure. No problem.
And Mike, I'm going to send you a couple of links in the chat for you to access that information. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I don't see any more questions coming in. So maybe now is a good time for us to do our uh, discussion. And again, if, um, if you were here just for the information, great. Thanks for joining. Um, if you didn't want to stick around for the discussion time, now would be a good time to drop off the call. Um, so we are going to create some breakout rooms and start asking, seeing if uh, anyone has any particular topics they want to dis discuss. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks for joining. Can I request a topic? Yes. Let's do it. Let's um, hear it. I too, this is my first season. I'm a high school instructor. Um, we're okay. in like doing Cyber Launch Florida and we're trying to get our students involved. But uh, anyone that wants to like maybe step us through like what to expect over the next couple of weeks and whether this is like open ended or if we have limited time to do some of these competitions, I'd really appreciate anything. Great. Yes, we can definitely do that. Okay, so it sounds like we'll have one discussion topic for newbies, just to kind of go over um, the whole concept of what to expect during the competition and how to help your students. So that will be one discussion group. Is there anyone that wanted to lead that discussion group? I can lead that one. Ooh, all right, Doc is stepping up. So Doc will be in charge of that. Name, so. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> now's the time. So Doc will lead that. I think I saw another um, topic in the chat. I'm interested in how coaches help form teams for the team competition. That's a good topic. Uh, did you want to take that topic, Kellen? I, I, I can do that. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, is that John? Yes. Great. All right, thanks, John. All right, so, so far we've got two topics. So we'll have so far two breakout rooms, one for newbie coaches, one for talking about how to form teams. Anybody else, any other topics that would be helpful to talk about? We can have one more room if we want, just to have another topic that you'd be interested in. What else can we discuss? Anyone else? Sorry, Sorry to yep. jump in. Um, Dr. Brian Bacotti, UAT. So I'm interested in guidance in regards to leveraging uh, the platform on a consistent basis, you know, like fall, spring, year after year, and what that would look like for us. Okay. Sounds like a good one. So kind of, uh, so our third topic can be the continuous use of the, um, the, the Cyber Skyline uh, training which is the spring and fall season, plus other offerings as well. Okay, so that could be our third one. Did we have, so we have Doc talking about, um, I think, getting us into newbies, right? Was that the one you were going to talk about, Doc? I haven't been writing these down. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Thank you. Good. And uh, second? Second, I believe it's John Cyclic for uh, forming team games, is that correct? Is that the right, John? John, no, John Sadowski. Sorry, oh. thank you. I was looking down, but I heard the voice. Sorry, okay. And did, did anyone want to take the third topic, which is uh, kind of using the um, NCL Cyber Skyline platform uh, kind of as a continuous training ground? I think that was the question or topic. Anyone on that one? Second, maybe that one, maybe that'll fall to me. Unless I saw someone else. We can all talk about that. Okay, so it sounds good. So we've got three breakout rooms. Active little breakout time. Let's go ahead and start with breakout room one. When did you have that as the official title, Ashley? Uh, the official title is Breakout Room 1, and it looks like they did not add any notes. That's fine. We had a leader, though. Okay, I'm going to admit, I am a really, I'm really bad at taking notes, but 
I scribble and I dabble on paper, so I'm really good. So basically what we talked about was um, basically the day um, um, Sarah wanted to know the structure of NCL and how it works. So I explained the gym, the practice game, the individual game, the teams, and then there were questions asked about are we using it in the course? And then um, we, we talked about that. We also talked about how do you form teams? I told them my strategy of forming teams, which hopefully I don't get beat by any of these schools in the future, because then I'm going to cry. And then, we, and then we just had a, like a general talk about different things. And one of the things that, that did come out at the end was actually the the next time that we have this and we have an individual group, can you make sure that we can share our screens? Because then I could have walked them through like one of the challenges and then just and then just kind of show them how I would teach it in the classroom to all of the newbies. Yeah, of course. Good plan, good plan. Okay. Was that it, Doc? Yep, yeah, I think that covers it. If the other okay. group wants to add, if the other members from that group want to add anything, they're more than welcome to. Sounds pretty comprehensive. Yep. <laughs> Crickets now. Oh. Yeah, so with the crickets, we'll go to group number two. And who did we have leading that group? I know we had a John. We had John Sadowski, and it looks John like... Sadowski. Looks like he's no longer with us. Uh-oh. Was there anyone else from John's room that want to do a quick summary for us? What you guys, what would we talk about? Forming teams. I think was the cat the discussion topic. I think we had some people in that room. Did everyone leave? I think they might have. Uh oh. I guess they formed teams and that's all they needed to do. <laughs> Join the team and ran away. That's fine. Well, um, I think Doc, Doc covered it a little bit, but I'll give my two cents on that one too. So for me, um, for my t for at least for my school team, I leave it up to my club to form the team. And I know what they do, um, for, for at least for like kind of the, the top team, they'll look at how people do in the individual game and they'll use that for recruiting. So that's kind of to form our top team. And then just for the other teams, I leave it up to uh, my students to decide who they want to have in their team, who they work well with, and uh, have them form teams on their own. Uh, and just as a note, the teams can be from one, teams of one, all the way up to teams of seven. So your choice there. Were there any other ways that people form teams people want to add? Maybe not. Okay, let's go to the last one then. <laughs> so um, that actually was the one I was in. So my summary can be very quick too. Uh, we were talking about using NCL um, kind of a, a, across the seasons. And the other question came up is like, you know, how to sell it to uh, administration as a useful tool, a useful learning tool. So what I talked about was um, including NCL into my curriculum. Uh, so I talked about the Canvas shell that I have available. So if anybody uses Canvas and you're not aware of the National Cyber League shell, go into Canvas, go into the Commons area and search for National Cyber League. And that will bring up um, a shareable shell. So a shell that I created that has all of my material in it, which includes labs, lectures, quizzes, and all kinds of stuff that you can use as kind of a supplemental learning um, to get students prepared for the NCL season. So I've kind of do kind of a, I, I'm teaching to the NCL, but I'm also using the NCL as the curriculum because uh, I think that works very well. And the reason why I teach to the NCL is because the NCL covers a broad breadth of topics, right? So we have nine categories, which align well with the NIST NICE categories. Um, and I feel like it's a great way to introduce students to the breadth of security. 
Okay. And the other thing that I talked about were um, if the NCL season doesn't line up well with the spring or fall season, I talked about lab kits. So that's something that um, they can use outside of the season. And those um, I've used before for summer because we don't have this. We only have spring and fall. We don't have a summer season, but I want my summer students to have a similar experience. So I've had them use the, uh, the lab kit. And then I think Jasmine also talked about the scouting report, and that's a great way for students to um, show off their abilities um, in a resume so they can copy what they've, um, how well they've done based upon what the scouting report shows, which shows how well they've scored across categories and use that in their resume. And then also use that during interviews. It's a great talking point for students. I think that covered it, Jasmine. Anything else you wanted to add from our room? No, that was it, David. Thank you. Sure. No problem. Okay. Well, that was that was our experiment of um, having coaches come up with their own discussion. Hopefully that worked out well. Um, next month, we'll do this again. And I think we're scheduled. Um, Emily, do you have the date for our next team or coaches call in front of you? I do. Sorry, I couldn't find the button. Um, <laughs> no problem. November 19th will be the next coaches call. So it'll be right after um, the team game week. Okay, so this will be um, a great way to maybe uh, talk about um, what we learned, what we saw at the end of the season, because this will be right after the team game. Um, that could be one of our discussions, lessons learned from the team game, maybe what we do next time, what we like. Um, and that'll also be right during uh, Spirit Week. So we can talk a little bit about that as well. So November, right after the team game, we'll meet up again as uh, coaches. And uh, thank you, everybody, for your time. And good luck on the practice game, individual game, and team game. See you all next time. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Everybody.